Patriotism in the United States, like America itself, is exceptional. Ours is not an ethnic motherland or fatherland rooted in soil with bonds of blood. We belong rather to a republic founded in ideas, but ideas that celebrate the individual rather than the collective, private rights rather than public glory. America understands more clearly than any other Western nation that freedom requires not just a state, but also, and even more importantly, a society. A society built of strong covenantal institutions. Even Rome is no model for what America is today. We're an Athenian republic, even more republican, and infinitely more democratic than Athens. We have to make it clear by our budgets and by our actions that we are the global force now and will continue to be that in the future. This is a critical moment for everybody who cares about free markets, about competition, about global free trade. We two countries do represent, I think, values that are of fantastic importance. Equality before the law, freedom, inalienable rights. These are not abstractions. They are our inheritance. They anchor our nation, and they show us the way forward. This was an experiment, and it would require a greater amount of civic virtue in the citizens than any other form of government. We are not just the playthings of force and accident. We can affect the course of events by reflection and choice. We should be seeking a social and economic revitalization of our nation. The vision, the design, should be prosperity for all. A revitalized America is a prize worth fighting for. Our job is not to make even more empty promises. It's to revive the American idea. We have to show that the American idea offers true security. It offers true community. Its promise is real. It is a moral duty to raise the great questions of meaning and value to raise the great existential and transcendental questions of human life. If we fail to raise those questions, we lose part of our humanity. When a culture changes, public policy can rarely change it back. But I am an optimist. America has been told it would be destroyed by slavery, alcohol, subversion, immigration, civil war, economic collapse, and atom bombs, and America has survived them all. American exceptionalism is not something that Americans made up about themselves. Being American was much more an important part of your identity than where you stood in the social ladder in America. We were all Americans above all else. All of that is going away. And if it is to be restored, it is because people like you in this room choose to live your lives in a different way.